host Jessica and today I'm going to do my Ipsy vs. BoxyCharm for January. You guys, I haven't gotten my BoxyCharm in months. Months! Now, they sent it to me complimentary, so I couldn't really complain, you know what I mean? Um, but I contacted them and said, hey, remember me? What happened? <laughs> they were like, oh, sorry, Here, you can get the next one. I'm like, all right, thanks. I mean, I could pay for it, which would be awesome, but you guys know I love reviewing these for you guys on my channel because I love subscription boxes. I mean, truly love them, but these are two of my favorites, so I love comparing them, even though they're not the same price. Um, but just in the realm of subscription boxes, these are two of my favorites, so I just always throw them into the same video. Ipsy is $10 a month. BoxyCharm is $21 a month. However, you will see typically BoxyCharm has a lot, if not all, full-size products and like a lot of high-end products. So I'm excited to see what's in it, especially since I haven't had it in the past few months. Mm. I can't really complain because I get it for free to review. So, I mean, you know, I know I'm being silly. I hope you guys know that I'm being silly. You guys know that I'm being silly, right? <laughs> okay. You guys need to let me know if I've got lipstick on my teeth because every time I wear these, it seems to happen. Right now, I'm testing out the Rimmel Show Off Matte Lip Velvet, and it's in the shade Meteoric Matte, and I keep seeing it, like, on my teeth. So you let me know if it's on my teeth. Alright, so Ipsy will start with, like I said, it's $10 a month and it always has a little makeup bag with it. So, the, oh, oh, so I also cashed in some Ipsy points if you refer friends or if you review products on there, you get points that you can cash in for free things. And it looks like I've got a few of those in this. So, oh, three things. So, the, like, uh, theme is Fresh Start. It says, a kickoff so clean, the possibilities are endless. Get ready for a fantastic and flawless 2015. Awesome. So the bag is blue and white and orange, which I think is kind of a fun combo. It reminds me of the night, the early 90s. <laughs> Didn't that fun? Maybe in the 80s. Um, so that's kind of fun. It feels a little more well-made than a lot of theirs, so that is nice. So the first thing I'm seeing is the Malin and Getz um, Mojito Lip Balm. And it says... <laughs> Daily protection, soothing treatment, fatty acid absorption technology. So, mojito, I wonder if it smells like it. Hmm. It smells minty, so yeah, a little bit. Um, so it feels really, really like Vaseline-like, which I really like in a lip balm, especially if I'm doing it like, I'll put on lip balm before I start my makeup, so by the time I'm done, my lips are super moisturized, or um, at night before I go to bed. So I'm excited about this one. The next one is a liquid eyeliner in Jet, is the color, and it's from Coastal Scents, so. And on the side, there's a sticker, and it's not even a sticker. It says 25% off for um, Ipsy bag subscribers, or really for anyone if you have the code. The code is LINER25OFF at checkout. I don't know if it's only good for this or what, or for their liners. Let's see, I use liquid liner every day. I kind of do a triple layer. I do like pencil liner, I know it sounds ridiculous, pencil liner, then gel liner, and then liquid liner. So <laughs> I just do, I don't know, I always have. So it's in one of these kind of doodads. And I haven't used one like this in a long time. So, let's see. You can certainly be very precise. I'm wondering if you can do a really thick line too. Yeah, so it seems super black. Like I said, it's in the shade Jet, so that's a good thing. Um, okay, not bad at all. Um, I probably will use it, and I, I don't keep, like, liners I just go through like especially liquid ones I just use these up like they don't sit around in my collection for long so um, I will definitely get some use out of that that is for sure the next thing in the bag is this Pacifica ooh, natural mineral coconut eyeshadow I was just at the store called fresh time and I don't know if they're all over the nation or where they are but they sell a lot of Pacifica products and I was swatching them and falling in love with them so I'm excited to get one um, so this is in the shade Ethereal. I said it right. Um, and ooh, it's like this really, really pretty, well, just kind of off-white color. That looks really, really beautiful. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, that is the most beautiful lid color. I will certainly use that. I love, Ethereal is a great name for it, kind of heavenly almost, or otherworldly. I will definitely use that. That's a great one. That's just a good one. 
The next thing I'm seeing is this Probel nail lacquer, and it's this kind of interesting blue. It's almost, it's, I don't really know how to describe that. It looks a little brighter on camera than it does in person. In person, it's a little more muted, which is kind of cool, almost like light jeans in a way. It's in the shade Into the Blue, and that's pretty. Uh, let's see how, um, you know, opaque it is. It looks kind of opaque. That would definitely need at least two coats. Um, just based on looking at the brush, the fact that you can kind of see through the brush. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll use it. I think it's a really pretty one. That'll be pretty in the spring and summer especially. The last thing in this bag, because these always come with five things, is, oh, it's an Elizabeth Mott All Over Shadow Brush. It's all pink and cute. It's a little shorter than most brushes are. Ooh, it feels pretty well made. Sometimes brushes like this that come in these are not the best, but it just, it feels really soft. And yeah, I mean, I'll certainly use this as a great um, shader brush. So the three things I got um, with it, with my um, like reward points, the first thing is this um, J-Cat. And I hear everyone talk about J-Cat because it's always in subscription boxes, but I don't know that I've ever received anything from J-Cat. But it looks like one of the, it says, it's really dark, it's hard to read, Wonder Lip Paint. So I think this is supposed to be similar to like an OCC lip tar where these crazy thick um, lip paints that you can mix and make different colors or do whatever you want with. This is a crazy dark color. It's in red potion. So we're going to see if it comes out this color or if it's a little lighter or what. So it's still pretty dark. Oh wow. Looks like blood. Um, I mean, that's pretty dark. Let's swatch with what's left on my hand. It's still really dark. I mean, it looks like you can blend it out to be more of a berry color. So, of course, I just applied a ton. You wouldn't need that many. Will I ever wear this? Well, maybe. I would like to say no, but I mean, it's similar-ish to what I'm wearing on my lips now. So, I guess I might wear it, but it seems like it'd be so much work to apply that I don't know that it would be worth it. You know? The next thing that I got from those points is this NYX Butter Lip Balm. I might go ahead and pass this on now. It's in red velvet, but I just did my declutter and I got rid of another shade of this just because it's not that they're bad, but I just don't really need any more right now. And a red balm, I know that I'm not gonna wear, so I'm not even gonna open it. I'm gonna pass it on because just knowing that I just decluttered the other one for the same reason, I don't feel the need to hold on to this one for now, so, okay. The next thing is this Bumble and Bumble, prepare to be blown away, Repair Blow Dry Serum in Cream to repair hair with every blow dry. So it sounds like it's kind of like a blow drying cream or like a heat protectant cream, which is nice. Um, and Bumble and Bumble, of course, is really, really expensive, so that's nice. Okay, so moving on to the Boxy Charm. These always come, of course, in a box, so let's see. The first thing on top is their card, and it says, Celebrate in style. Cheers to a new year, charmers. The best is yet to come, and we're ringing it in by celebrating in style with a little makeup. Join us in celebrating by sharing. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so on the back, I love this. It gives the prices and the descriptions of everything in there. So usually retails, like, in the end for, like, $100. I don't know how they do it and, like, still make money on the deal, but whatever. The first thing on top, it looks like these are those, like, foil or what it, metallic, like, fake tattoo things. Let me see. Yeah, a flash tattoo, that's what they're called. It's the Purely Skin Sparkle Flash Tattoos, and it's just one sheet. This retails for $12. Um, so this would be fun to wait until summer, and even then, I don't know if I will. I'm going to keep it and see if I will, just because um, we're going to be at our honeymoon, most likely in Europe, and it just might be fun, you know, if we're, like, on the Mediterranean. I have no idea. So we'll see if I actually do. Otherwise, I'll pass them on if I don't use them um, past summer. But it's a really pretty, I mean, it's a fun concept. If you haven't seen flash tattoos in action, they, um, they're all over Pinterest if you type it in or just Google search. They look beautiful on really tan skin. On pale skin like mine, I don't know that they'd be as cute. But, you know, so that's kind of fun. The next thing in here is this Mirabella product. And what is it? It says Prime for Face. Let's see about that. Oh, it's a long tube. Mirabella Prime for Face. Not again. And it doesn't say anything but ingredients. So on here, let's see what it says. It, this is the full size and it retails for $29. It says, infuse your skin with vitamin E while minimizing pores and fine lines with the silky face primer. Um, avoid the lash line, it says. Interesting. And then it says, use sparingly. 
What? So should I not use this every day or do they mean just don't use a lot? I would assume it just means don't use a lot. I don't know. So I, I kind of like the tube and I like that it's thinner. Most primers are like either in giant pumps, which take up a ton of room for about the same amount of product. Um, so for me, I travel a lot. So let's just see what this is like here. It's a clear primer, so it's probably similar to a lot of the ones I already have. Oh yeah, it blends out to be very, very silky, that silicone feeling. Um, gosh, this feels silkier than the ones I have though. Wow. Um, it almost looks shiny though, do you guys see that? So I don't, I don't know if that's going to transfer on the face, although that could look really pretty under a mattifying foundation, end up like, it'll like add that shininess under it so it'll be like a satin finish. So this is one that I actually will try. I don't, I feel like I get rid of so many Mirabella products that I don't even try them and I don't really know why I do that because they're expensive but I mean given what I do I've got a lot of everything. So I'm actually going to keep this and try this because I don't know it just it's it just seems nice and like I said I like the packaging it'd be so much easier for me to travel with if I end up liking it. All right, the next thing in here is this BFR Beauty For Real, the Perfect Pencil Lip Enhancer. And it says, not tested on animals, good. Um, that's all it says, just Beauty For Real on here. Let's see what it says. It says, this is the full size and it's $14 for this. The only lip liner you'll ever need. This special shade complements and enhances the natural shape of your lips for the perfect pout. Line your lips and pair with your favorite lipstick or gloss. So, well, let's just see how universal this is. We're going to use it on top of this primer. It does feel like, you know what, it looks like Sore from MAC. Well, this is a little more brown. But, you know, I know everyone's going for that look. I'm not going to say who it looks like. But everyone's going for that kind of color. Um, and this looks a lot like it, so that is pretty cool. Um, it feels... A little dry I mean I think you guys can kind of see how dry that looks um, but I'm not too a lot of times I kind of like a drier lip liner because when I've got a lip liner that's the retractable that's really creamy it ends up not doing its job of holding everything inside the lines if you will so when it's super creamy I find that it's going outside the lines just like my lipstick is so it kind of defeats the purpose so I don't mind that this is a little drier I have a feeling I'll actually use this a lot because it's a really it is a neutral color it's a little deeper but Again, I don't mind that, so cool. I mean, certainly um, in style right now, too. The next thing in here is, again, from Beauty For Real, and it's their lip cream. Ooh. Feels heavy. Oh, it feels very heavy. This is like a heavier packaging, which I like. So it has a mirror where you can, it has a sticker that you can peel off. Um, it says, True Color Lip Cream. The shade is always there, and it retails for $22. This is the full size. It says, your lips only better. This color enhances and defines your lip color for a gorgeous natural look. Um, okay. Oh, it's a light, oh, it's got a little light inside. Um, like inside the, I'm gonna blind you guys. <laughs> so you can see what you're doing, you know. Wow! <laughs> so, this looks like, let me turn this little light off. A lot of, it's really gimmicky, but at the same time, it actually is kind of useful. So, oh, this is kind of a similar shade to it. Those would go well together. I like this even better. This is just a pretty rose color. I really like that color. And the packaging is simple and cute and it's got a little mirror and light for all your mirror and light needs, you know, because we're always putting on lip gloss in the back of a dark van. <laughs> so funny, but you know, you never know when you might need it. That is a really pretty color and it feels creamy. Oh, is that the smell of that? Hold up. Oh no, this just smells like nothing really. I think that primer is what I'm smelling. Let me smell this primer. It's got kind of this soft like laundry smell. The primer does. That's awesome. It smells really good. So very excited about this lip gloss. So there's one more big thing in here which I'm really excited about. I'm kind of seeing it and I'm like oh my gosh. Um, but in there there's a card that says Tarte 20% off your purchase on Tarte.com. The code is BOXYJAN as in January, J-A-N. And it's good from February 3rd to February 12th. So if you're wanting to buy something from Tarte for 20% off, that's pretty awesome. Um, so this huge thing is, it is Tarte. Oh my gosh, this is, well, this is definitely full size. It's the Maracuja Bronzing Serum. I think I saw this in someone's video and I was like, what? Um, oh wow, I just pulled everything out. 
Wow! So it is a straight up full size Maracuja bronzing serum. So is this the kind where, how does this work? <laughs> oh yes, that's right. It's an oil and there's like a, a button on the top that you push to let the oil fall out. And from what I hear, if I remember, you like mix this with your lotion to make it a bronzing lotion, which is so flipping cool. Let's read what it says. So, whoa, this retails for $47. What? Okay, it says hydrate and even your skin tone to help fight signs of aging for aging for a firmer, brighter appearance. The gradual self-tanning complex delivers instant radiance as it naturally bronzes for a healthy, glowing complexion. How to, so you dispense two to three drops of the serum in your hands and apply to clean dry skin. Oh, so you don't mix it with your lotion, you just apply it. To clean dry skin on the face and neck. Oh, so maybe if you've been self tanning like everywhere else and you wanted your face to match and you don't want to use your self tanner on your face, you can use this. That is pretty cool. I actually, you know, in the spring and summer, I usually do use at least like natural glow or things like that where I do get a little more color without actually being in the sun and getting color. Um, so that might actually be really nice to add a little bit. I'm very interested. I think when it gets to that time of year, I might do like a demo or first impressions with this just because I think it will be funny because I will probably not know how to do it. But I also think it might be helpful to just kind of see how it works because it's such an odd concept really. So that is really, really cool. So overall, if I had to pick a winner, I mean, it seems, no, it's not always BoxyCharm, but I mean, come on, this is like a $50 product that I would never buy for myself, but if you were wanting to spend $20 on a subscription box, you want to trust that you're going to be getting full-size products. So if it's five products and you break it down to, you know, 20, 20 divided by five, that's four bucks a piece for all of these different things. I mean, you cannot beat that. But most of all, I think I'm really excited about, I'm really excited about all of these, other than the flash tattoos. With Ipsy, I'm really excited about the shadow and the lip balm because it smells minty, which I love. The liner too, because I, I just use liquid liner. So for me, that's useful and I love that it's black and it's not in some weird like green color that I'm only gonna use a few times. Um, so I'm really excited about that as well. The polish is pretty, but I mean, it's, I don't know. I mean, polish is polish, but it is pretty and I'll use it. Um, and the brush is nice. I've got plenty, but if you were someone that you're trying to build up your collection, any subscription box is great for that. And Ipsy, a lot of times, will send a brush, which is kind of nice if you're building up your brush collection. Overall, I love subscription boxes. If you do too, definitely subscribe. I've got all kinds that I'm always uploading, um, and I can link below my subscription box playlist if you want to see just a ton of them being unboxed. I do all different kinds. This, of course, is makeup focused, but I also do one that I love called Try the World, which is like a travel food box, which I love. I'm hoping to kind of infuse some more different subscription boxes. I love my tea and coffee ones as well. So definitely check those out and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye! The wear time on this I would say is pretty darn good. I would say it would last all day. I don't think you need to reapply. I mean I don't know anyone that reapplies their foundation anyway. But I think that it does a really great job. I did not use a primer underneath it. The wear time would be even better if I did but I really wanted to see how it would work just on my skin as it is with just a moisturizer underneath so I was impressed with how well it wore it doesn't it didn't break up or anything weird it didn't oxidize I mean I am super impressed with this foundation